So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time now. And um, much like the subject matter, I just don't, I, don't, I didn't know where to begin. So I'm just gonna begin, I guess, <clears throat> and talk a little bit. Um, I want to share with you the sum of my investment knowledge that I've, I've gained this year. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna get a seat and a drink and let's have a talk. That's better. <laughs> anyway, um, there's really two videos that I've, I really wanna make, but I think I can do them both in one because they're kind of the same thing, <clears throat> but it's all about uh, the stock market and investing. And uh, I don't know everything about it. I don't even, come close to knowing everything about it and I'm not going to pretend to but I, I think it's something that um, like the game of chess is something that's five minutes to learn a lifetime to master and it's the same deal with the stock market a lot of people give the excuse of I, I don't know anything about it I never learned anything about it learn <laughs> learn <clears throat> um, it's a timely thing it's very timely and uh, that's that's the purpose of this video because I, of all the videos that I've watched, I never saw anything that, that is what I want to say with this video. So I think that it's important to get this message out there, especially from somebody like me that's a beginner. I've just started this year um, investing and learning about the stock market on a very serious level, like hours a day spent uh, watching videos and looking things up online and just doing all sorts of research and it's really interesting it actually uh, it, it hit me earlier tonight when I was in the shower at how close to a, a video game it all is it's like the ultimate <laughs> online video game that's ever-changing and and there's so much content and so many details to it all it's amazing anyway i want to keep this video short so as it turns out i'm not that great at keeping videos short <laughs> i forgot to touch on something very important let me hit it real quick um something that i didn't realize and that a lot of people don't realize about the stock market and investment and everything is that 59 and a half age 59 and a half is is the deal it's kind of the finish line of it all the whole point of everything is to build your wealth as best you can until you're 59 and a half, at which time you can transfer transfer the wealth into uh, tax-free mediums. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to get specific, but that's basically the gist of it. So the whole thing is about 59 and a half. It's all future-minded. So that's what set me on a, a search for long-term investments and when I got started and they're already paying off well. But anyway, um, that's kind of the whole thing. It's, it should all be long-term. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to clarify a little bit. Throw that in there. Don't forget, it's all about 59 and a half. And uh, if, once you hit that age, you can you can get your money tax free through those, those other outlets, but anything that's pulled from it, say you won big on a stock and you got a million dollars or whatever, then it might be worth it to go ahead and pay the heavy taxation at 40% or something like that and still get your, what would that leave you? I mean, $600,000, that's a lot of money. So <laughs> if you can earn enough money in the meantime, you won't have to wait until you're 59 and a half to have a crap load of money from the stock market is my point. But I definitely need to clarify that age breaking point of this all. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled short video. So I'm gonna talk quickly and I'm gonna kinda try to get to the point and I don't think I'm gonna edit it. Um, I'm just gonna put it out there. I, like I said, I've got somewhat of an addictive personality. So I put the stock market off for a long time because of that reason. That was my reason. Everybody that doesn't invest has, a, has some lame reason why they don't. <laughs> And that was my lame reason, I just, it, which it isn't, you know, there, there are plenty of valid reasons people can have <clears throat> not to do it, but the quicker you get to it, the better <laughs> is what I'm getting at. And, and I've met a few 
very young people that are already investing. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> like props to you because most people in your demographic that I've spoken to, because I'm talking to everybody that I come in contact with about it, um, don't invest and don't even, <laughs> they're very dismissive of the whole concept, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but um, my grandfather, Don Prickett, was uh, a self-made millionaire off of a few reasons, not just stock alone, but I mean, he was a hardworking man and a business owner and very driven. But when he put his mind to the stock market, he was very successful at it. <clears throat> and um, I, I wish I could I wish I could have a talk with him about this, this all today. I get the feeling he's, he's looking down at me though because I'm, the stocks, the few stocks that I have picked are already doing pretty well and, I, and that makes me feel very good because uh, there's all kinds of platforms you can pick to invest in. There's like, or with, not invest in. Uh, you can invest with um, Webull is a, a top. I mean, it's it can be confusing for a beginner, but you're not going to be a be beginner for long once you start learning and get into it. I think looking back, uh, I think I, I w wish I would have started on Webull because everything would be there and there's a pre-market and after-market access on that platform as, and a lot of the other ones don't offer that, like Acorns is one that I use, um, Stash is another great one that I use. And then there's a bunch of other ones too, like Robinhood, which Robinhood, I, I would stay away from it. <laughs> I've heard enough bad things about the platform and witnessed, um, like I said, at the beginning of the year, I started learning about stock as much as I could. And um, end of January, 20, January 28th, I believe, uh, GameStop started skyrocketing with the short squeeze happening and it became front page news for a long time. And a lot of people like me and you um, became millionaires that were privy to that information and they were up on that play and they knew what they were doing already at that point. I didn't. I didn't know enough, even though I had a few hundred dollars that I could have just thrown in and seen what happened. I didn't feel like that I knew enough about the stock market. I, I did not know enough about the stock market to play with money in it on something like that, that I had no idea really what it all meant or what was happening. So I just watched and learned everything that I could, which brings us to AMC Entertainment. <laughs> if anybody knows me, they're probably so sick of hearing that already from me. But <clears throat> I, I, let me get to the second part. The first, the first video that I wanted to make is telling you that it, the time to invest was yesterday time to start investing. There are no excuses. There's no, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. That's why you do this. <laughs> so you have enough money and enough time to spend it some time before you die. Because if you don't do anything like this, you won't. <laughs> That's life 101 for you. Hard facts. <laughs> if you have a, a job with a 401k, that's I fr from a few financial advisors and people professionals that I've spoken to, that's the way to go first and foremost, but I wanted a little bit more hands-on and I had already actually started before I got that information, but <clears throat> just slowly. So if you don't have enough money, then a Acorns would be my, uh, by the way, before I go further, let me just say this a disclaimer real quick. This is not financial advice <laughs> uh, to quote, Keenan Grace, who I've been watching on YouTube a lot. Um, this is for, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Now, that being said, <clears throat> a wise man or woman would uh, that doesn't know anything about stock can get started and do well uh, by downloading the Acorns app, and uh, you you pick your uh, subscription level. I do a dollar a month. That's basic subscription level to use the platform and, and to pay them to uh, brokerage or whatever, uh, all of your transactions and everything, make it all legal and everything. You don't have to worry about all that if you pay that, they do that for you, which is great for somebody that just wants to get started. That's what, the, that's what it's for. So you pay the dollar a month, get Acorns, and uh, you have to link it to your bank account. You put $100 in, and that $100, you 
uh, you set your risk level on acorns as well. I've got mine set to moderately aggressive, which is willing to take a few ups and downs and gambles in the hopes of a higher payout, which it generally does provide. Um, and then, yeah, it's a, it's a set and forget type of deal with acorns. That would be the best way. If anybody out there is thinking like, or has thought recently, like I, I want to get started investing, but I don't know how <clears throat> that's the best and, and easiest way to get started. Other than that, start watching Keenan Grace on YouTube because I've watched a, a few other people. Uh, Matt Kors is really good. I've, I've started watching him recently and uh, Stock Mo is pretty informative, but he and Meet Kevin as well. And uh, Meet Kevin goes back a while too. You can learn a lot off of his channel about real estate and other things. Sorry, Pablo, I dropped my cap on my kitty. <laughs> um, of all of them that I've watched though, Kenan Grace, I think cuts to the chase. He's uh, informative. I, I, what I get from him is he hustles the stock market all day long. Like I hustled my job for UPS. So he's out there grinding on the stock, trying to learn everything he can about these plays. And he goes home and, and makes a video and I go home and watch that video. And I learn what he learned for the day. That's pretty much how it works. I mean, it, I, I highly doubt that's how it works, but <laughs> uh, that'd be funny if he did actually do it exactly like that, but I don't think he does. Uh, anyway, Keenan Grace is a great person to start watching. So you download your acorns and, and if you do, um, the, the purpose of this video is not me linking my account to you and you, <sighs> anyway, if you want to invest, let me know, comment to me, especially if you want to just start the simple no brainer set and forget acorns route. <clears throat> and I can give you a link to do it. And if you do it through that link, we'll both get free stock put into our account. So again, I don't, I don't care what, whatever you want to do. And I'm not trying to sell anything and I'm not trying to make money. That is not at all the purpose of this video. But that being said, <laughs> If you do want to, let me know. I'll send you a link and we'll both get something extra out of it that neither one of us would get if you just start doing it on your own. And that's the way to go. Across the platform too, Webull. If, you, if you're interested in starting on Webull, go through Keenan Grace's link on his, uh, on his YouTube and you'll each get free stock out of it. <clears throat> That'd be my way of saying thanks to Keenan Grace, kind of sending him a bit of patronage clientele. So um, you, you've got your dollar a month and you got your acorns downloaded, you link your bank account, you put a hundred bucks in there. That's the starter. That's generally across the board. I think you have to do that on pretty much all of them. You have to start with a hundred bucks and um, <clears throat> you can link your, your bank card. Now then you, you can set it to do roundups. You can set it to, to be whatever you want, whatever you could afford to put into it. The more, the better, obviously. But um, I, I've got mine set to a hundred dollars a week, and I've got roundups on. Now, if you could, if that sounds pricey to you, and you can't afford four hundred, five hundred dollars a month, whatever that ends up being, um, you, you can do whatever you want. Like I said, you can do a dollar a week. You could do, you know, twenty bucks a month, fifty a week whatever you, you feel like comfortable uh, starting out with and it, it's not going to go down that's the thing about acorns it's a it's an index fund I, be, I believe it's an index fund if not it's something very very similar um, but it's a real diverse thing there it's not just like all your eggs in one basket and any stocks that pay out dividends and things like that which is like an extra bonus like some some companies like Apple is one that's a really good one if you own Apple stock say say you own hypothetically a million dollars of Apple stock well they pay out seven percent dividends so you would get seventy thousand dollars a year just for owning a million dollars worth of Apple stock sounds awesome right it is <laughs> and that's the goal is to get to to build wealth to where your wealth is building wealth and you can actually start spending it and stop working because I don't want to work until I die. Do you? <laughs> Seriously? I mean, I, I, that's what it's all about is, uh, 
Okay, so let me, let me add a little bit more. Like I said, I'm gonna to try to tell you everything that I've learned up to this point because it's vital that you're, if you want to start investing, it's, I think it's very important that you do. Well, everything that I've learned points to the single most important thing about becoming an investor is starting. If you would, the faster you start, the, the quicker you'll have this amazing hindsight of like, man, I wish I would have started a long time ago. <laughs> as soon as you start and it, your stocks start turning around and you start going into the green and, and making profit, you're like, wow, that didn't take long. And you're like, man, if I would have started when I turned 18 or something, when I could have, you would already be retired if the game, if you're good at it and you pay attention and you're willing to learn, you already, you already could be retired and spending money for a living. Anyway, that's the purpose of this video because like I said, I'm not trying to pitch my acorns link or anything like that. Invest. If you want to invest, start. It's just like chess. It's five minutes to learn, a lifetime to master. You're, if you're not investing because you don't know enough about it, that's not a valid excuse because there's too much, like you, there's so much information about it all that you would never be able to learn at all. <laughs> so much like a lot of things in life, it's like that fear of a, a inadequate information is, is not, enough then if that's the problem then start learning like i have start watching keenan grace if you some keenan i love keenan grace to death i really respect the man he's, he's much younger than me but if i ever meet him I'll, I'll buy a lobster for him if i get anything to say thank you because he's taught me a lot but beyond that he's like family he really is and, and all of his uh <clears throat> people that comment his patrons or whatever are, are all great and everybody's on the same page and very motivated and and uh, into it all which um, brings me to the second video that I wanted to make that's that's pretty much that's more or less most of it if I think of anything else about it I'll throw it in but that's the main part of this video that I wanted to do and, and say was that you should get started investing if you want to if you're thinking about investing start and start learning at the same time <clears throat> and it's a it's really fun you'll have a blast if you don't take it too seriously which is what I've been doing and just learning and, and going at it <clears throat> and now I, I mentioned the GameStop thing the short squeeze that happened with GameStop and in, in the, the end of January it was worldwide news of obviously most people have heard about it know a little bit about it maybe even know somebody that made money at it um <clears throat> what happened was in a nutshell a long story short uh hedge funds or the big billionaire banksters uh, beyond just buying and selling stock there's other things you can do too called call options and and uh th there's a few different things that you can do besides just your basic trading buying and selling of stock uh, the call options are much, much more high risk, high reward situations, and there are multipliers on your money. So let's take, for example, you buy $100 worth of Apple stock and it goes up 100%. You doubled your money. No. In that situation, you would want to usually sell $100 worth, get your original investment out, and you're still in with your amount of your original investment. However, then it's house money and there's no risk in the play. Then should it happen to go on, that's excellent. That's your profits earning you profits. That's a multiplier. But when you trade stock, when you buy and sell stock only, <clears throat> then that however much the stock goes up is your multiplier. Now, when you do, like I just said, you buy $100, it goes up 100%, you doubled your money. When you do call options, it can get, the multipliers increase because like I said, it's higher risk, higher reward, but there are multiple multipliers. <laughs> There's lots of factors that, that change everything. So if you win big at a call option, 
you win really big. You don't just double your money, you can 10x your money, 7, 12x, uh, I'm, I'm not positive again if there's a cap or you know specifics about how it works, but that's the gist of it. Now the banksters, the millionaire hedge, hedge funders, hedgies, uh, were up against a, a group of people that had linked together through Reddit and uh, Wall, called Wall Street Bets. Uh, there's a, anyway, they they call us apes. They call us dumb money, <clears throat> even though they lost billions to us so far. Mm. Um, <clears throat> what what happened was they borrow shares from the brokers and they sell them into the market. And beyond that, at, after that point, they use their muscle to manipulate the price of the market and push stocks down and things like that in the hopes that dumb money like you and I would buy this stock from them. Say, let's say it is AMC and uh, you heard about GameStop and people were making a bunch of money and somebody told you, yeah, AMC is gonna do the same thing. So you bought a bunch of AMC from this, uh, the <clears throat> short seller, well, they do their magic, which they keep doing every day. These guys are working around the clock to do everything they can legally and illegally to keep AMC stock price from going up, even though it's inevitable it's going to happen <laughs> because they could lose a lot more a lot faster. They're, they're trying to uh, cauterize the wound, but it's a gaping hole. Uh, anyway, let's say you bought a share of AMC from them a few months ago because you heard about it and it was a good short squeeze opportunity, whatever. Well, they borrowed that share from a, a brokerage firm and they have a set date when they borrow it to return it. That's the key thing about all this. That's the short, the, the squeeze is when they don't want to return it or they, they're gonna lose a lot of money. They're gonna, what, what they wanted to happen didn't happen. And in that high risk, high reward situation, uh, they're losing the bet. Their 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 high risk is <laughs> turning into high losses because they take that stock, they sell it to you, they borrowed stock, they sell it to you, they have to give it back at a certain date. Now, in the meantime, they sell it to you, they apply pressure to the market, they try to drop the price in the hopes that you're dumb money ape and you don't know any better, you don't know what's going on. All you know is, that, man, the stock went down, me lose money bad, lose bad, sell. And they hope that you lose a couple of dollars or whatever you lose and that you sell it right back to them. They give the share borrowed back to the broker and they pocket the difference. Now think about that on a, a humongous scale and you're talking millions and billions of dollars that they're getting out of people that are being played like puppets behind the scenes because of market manipulation. And beyond that whole situation that I hopefully just explained transparently for, for anybody that didn't know what was happening, there's, there's a similar thing happening called naked shorts or synthetic shares which is when these crooked banksters say that they borrowed the share <laughs> and they sell you a contract for the, the, the share of stock. Well, <clears throat> if you take that share and hold on to it, like all of us apes are, uh, they don't have anything to buy back because everybody's holding. <laughs> And once that situation happens, which it has with AMC, uh, us apes own 80%, over 80% of the company, and we control the price at this point, and they know it. So what, what's happening with AMC is the second video that I want to make. <laughs> the first video is you should invest if you want to. The second video is what's happening with AMC is the last big Robin Hood story <laughs> that's going to happen because GME GameStop happened and it brought all the attention. All of a sudden, the whole world was watching regular people get rich off the stock market. What's this? What's happening over here? Well, everyone's paying attention now and the same exact game that the billionaire 
uh, <laughs> it doesn't, I, I want to call them smart money, but it, it's not very smart to lose hundreds of millions of dollars a day because you're gambling people's livelihood and then you make videos saying, oh, we have to let people go and we make the the cuts where we need to and it's unfortunate, but that's our business. Yeah, no, that's not ape business, <laughs> but I digress. Um, this, the same situation is happening with AMC now, and we are all waiting. It could happen any day. It could happen tomorrow. I saw a video earlier that swears it's happening tomorrow, <laughs> and I've seen a few of those videos, and I waited through the next day, and nothing happened. So it is going to happen, and uh, if you are somebody out there that is just a casual investor, but you're already through that couple of day process of linking your bank account and you're linked up, buy some AMC first thing tomorrow <laughs> and then hold on to it. That's the most, th this statement is gonna catch me some grief from somebody that, from, from people, that, <clears throat> certain people <clears throat> that might have made it this far in this video, they probably wouldn't because they're not truly punk rock. I'm gonna say this and I wholeheartedly mean it. The most punk rock thing that anyone can do right now on this planet is own AMC stock and just hold it in their hand. You, you can't tangibly hold the stock in your hand, but metaphorically speaking, the most, the biggest finger you could possibly give to the man is holding that AMC stock, owning it, and watching it skyrocket, and knowing that these crooked billionaires are going to have to pay you an, a god-awful sum of money for it. <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen with AMC. And I'm, I'm sure I haven't said everything that I wanted to say in this video, but I'm gonna wrap it up because it's already pretty long and I didn't want it to even be this long. But I think I was pretty coherent with what I wanted to say, and I'm happy with it. If you have any questions, message me, and um, I'll try to answer as best I can, even though I'm running out of free time lately. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and um, I hope I inspired you. If I didn't inspire you to start investing and you wanted to already, then watch Keenan Grace on YouTube, K-E-N-A-N -N, Grace. And, um, I think he'll inspire you to get started because that's what happened with me more or less. Actually, no, I play this video game <clears throat> all the time where I'm managing a, a Lego tower and Tony kind of jokingly said, so when are you gonna start doing this for real? And um, I translated that into, let's start investing in the stock market, perfect. So if I become a billionaire, it's really Tony's fault. It all comes down to that. If you become a billionaire, it might come down to me. So buy me a cheeseburger if that happens. <laughs>